Well, hello there and welcome to this week's midweek message, which is the first week of Advent. And oh my goodness, I am excited about Christmas and everything that's coming. And Advent, in fact, the first weekend of Advent is the weekend I put up my Christmas decorations. And so I have been very, very busy um, with Tim as we have been working our way through all of the Christmas decorations that we have collected over the years. Not only ourselves, but also decorations that we've inherited from family members. Every single one of our baubles pretty much has a story to tell. Not sure if it's the same in your family, but in my family, there is a great deal of memory in Christmas. And as I get ready and prepare, I'm also thinking about what food we're going to eat. I'm looking forward to the social gatherings that I'm going to be having that Tim and I will be able to go to. And I'm particularly looking forward to my lovely daughter and her boyfriend coming to stay with us over Christmas, which will be a great joy. And hopefully you'll be able to see them at Christmas service um, that I'm leading. I hope so. So I want to really encourage you to come along to our Christmas services. We have so many um, coming and uh, they are all of them unique and different. We have at least two services which involve live donkeys. There's the carol service at Fish Pond and also the um, short and sweet service, which is on the 10th this weekend, coming up at Whitchurch. I really want to encourage you to go along to that. It should be absolutely terrific. Uh, Roz and Sarah Keen are leading that. But most of all, I want to encourage us in our own spiritual journey in Advent. And me, myself, um, what I've decided to do is I've decided to read a gospel reflectively every day during Advent. And I've chosen um, John's gospel. And I'm going to read a chapter or half a chapter every day and reflect on the words. Perhaps read it twice or maybe three times. Just dwell on the words and allow them to speak to me. And I believe that God will reveal more of who he is. More of who he is as the light of the world as that gospel starts more of who he has done, what he has done for us and what his will is in my life. And so I'd really like to encourage you to join me in some reflective reading. It doesn't have to be John's Gospel, it could be one of the others or any other book of the Bible. But it's good to read the Bible as we journey towards Christmas. And so, my friends, to close, I want to uh, say the Advent Sunday prayer, uh, which is a collect prayer, which it says in the book here can be used at any time between now and Christmas Eve. So here it goes. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light. Now and now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to us in great humility, that on that last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal, through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So as we reflect on the word of God, I pray that it will be like putting on the armour of light and will equip us to face the darkness in our own lives and in the world. Be blessed, my friends. See you soon. Bye bye.